today i am going to teach you parts of hydro power plant or sometimes it is called as components of hydro power plant and these are the two figures of hydro power plant so in this video we are going to see all these parts of the hydro power plant so look at first the layout of the hydro power plant this is the front view and this one is the top view of the hydro power plant and this figure is very important for the exam point of view you can draw like this figure in the examination so now let's see main parts of hydro power plant so start from first catchment area this is very essential terminology to understand the hydro power plant it is the area behind dam so here you can see this is the dam and behind dam this is called as the catchment area across which dam has been constructed so from the catchment area the water is collected to the water reservoir next part reservoir here you can see a reservoir and this one is called as the reservoir it is used to store water during rainy season and supply it during dry season so it is one type of the storage of water next dam this one is the dam in this figure you can see this one is the dam it is used to increase height of water level and it is very simple to understand from the figure now next part is trash rack here you can see trash rack it is used to prevent entry of debris which might damage blade and runner of the turbine so here you can see this is the turbine on which blades are mounted so trash rag is used to prevent the debris from the water reservoir to the turbine next part surge tank here you can see this one is the surge tank it is a small reservoir here you can see water is stored over here that's why it is called as the water reservoir which provides better regulation of water flow and safeguard against the water hammer effect and here also you can see this is a real image of the surge tank and this one is the pan stock here you can see pan stock and this one is the surge tank it is installed along the pan stock here you can see between turbine and reservoir so this is the reservoir and this one is the turbine so in between there is a surge tank it is also used to serve as a supply tank or increase load conditions and storage tanks in case of low load conditions next part for bay it is a small water reservoir at the end of water passage from the reservoir and before the water is fed to the pan stock here you can see this one is the for bay before the pan stock it is temporary regulating reservoir it is used in low head and run of river plant where surge tank is not used so you have to keep in mind that it is generally preferred for the low head and run of river plant where surge tank is not used next part pan stock this one is a pan stock here you can see this one is a pan stock it is used to carry water under the pressure from the large water reservoir to the turbine next spillway here you can see this is the spillway to discharge major floods without damage to the dam therefore it is considered as a safety valve that means when the water level is beyond the limit then automatically water is come out from the water reservoir through this spillway so automatically dam is prevented and that's why it is called as safety valve next turbine here you can see this one is the turbine it is a hydraulic machine which converts hydraulic energy and that is in the form of potential and kinetic energy with the help of the turbine this energy is converted into mechanical power by dynamic action of the water particles flowing over the blades so here you can see this one is the turbine 
and these are the blades of the turbine and this one is the direction of the water flow and due to that water flow turbine will rotate and so that potential energy as well as the kinetic energy of the water is converted into the mechanical energy next powerhouse this portion is known as powerhouse here also you can see this one is the powerhouse it is a building that includes water turbine generator transformer and control room next draft tube it is connected to the outlet of the turbine this one is the draft tube it is connected to the outlet of the turbine so from here to here that is called as draft tube it is used to discharge water from exit of the turbine to tail dress this one is the tail dress level and this is called as the tail dress it is essential part for the reaction turbine so draft tube is particularly used for the reaction turbine if the turbine is the pelton wheel that means simple turbine then draft tube is not required next tail dress so here you can see tail dress level it refers to the downstream level of water discharge from the turbine so this is called as the upstream level and this is called as the downstream level of the river so tail dress is referred to the downstream level of the water next generator and here you can see this one is the generator and here you can see that generator is coupled with the turbine it is a machine used to convert mechanical energy of the turbine into electrical energy next step up transformer here you can see step up transformer it converts the alternating current that means ac into high voltage current suitable for the transmission so here you can see this is the input and that's why it is called as the primary winding and this one is the output that means secondary winding and here you can see number of turns for the secondary winding are more than the primary winding that's why it is called as the step up transformer and you know that at the power station step up transformer is required to increase the voltage and here you can see the voltage is increased from 100 volt to 400 volt and so that your ampere is decreased 10 ampere to 2.5 ampere because of your wattage that means power is remains constant here you can see 100 into 10 that means 1000 watt and here it is 400 into 2.5 that means 1000 watt it is a transformer that step ups the voltage from the primary winding to the secondary winding while keeping the power same here you can see in both the windings at the rated frequency and at last after that transformer power with high voltage is transmitted to the grid line to the consumer side if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist Thanks my dear friends